commonly believed that uh, agricultural income is tax free in India. It is partially true and uh, holds good so long as uh, the non agriculture income is within the basic exemption limit. And uh, once you cross that uh, basic exemption limit, even agricultural income, if it is more than rupees 5000, gets marginally taxed. The methodology for calculating tax in these cases uh, is very simple. First, the agriculture and non agriculture income are added, and taxes tax is calculated on the total income so arrived and next uh, the basic exemption limit is increased by the amount of uh, net agriculture income and tax is calculated on this amount and the tax differential of both the taxes so arrived is the net income tax that is payable by the SSE. Let's see. First select the type of the SSE. It could be super senior citizen that is 85 years or more senior citizen or a normal citizen. Let's make it a normal citizen. Gross total income. Let's make it uh, 6 tax and reduction under chapter 6a that including a DC. Make it uh, 50,000. Now the total income is 5,50,000 and uh, add the net aggregation income here. Let's make it uh, 60,000. Now the total income after adding the net agriculture income comes to 6,10,000 and tax is calculated on this uh, 6,10,000 that comes to 47,000 as per step F. And now the basic exemption limit applicable to the SEC that is rupees 2,50,000 for a normal citizen. Now net agriculture income is added back to this basic exemption limit and that becomes 3,10,000. Now tax is calculated on this 3,10,000. Now we have uh, two tax amounts, uh, one at uh, F rupees 47,000 and one at uh, I that is 6,000 and the net tax payable is rupees 41,000 that is the differential of F and I. So it is quite simple.